we got to play with the new 115 horsepower Mercury 4 stroke. She's available with either the Command Thrust 2.38 to 1 gear case or as standard with the 2.07 to 1. We drove two different gearboxes on two different Quintrex power riders and then we got to have some real fun offshore with the Coastal Cat Ocean Runner with its pair of 115 horsepower Mercury 4 strokes with command thrust counter rotating legs. Big heavy boats demand big torque drive and that's the beauty of the new command thrust gear cases is it transfers exceptional torque right down into the water where big hulls like the cat really need it. The drive was sensational, the manoeuvrability terrific. When you want to back up in that sea, the drive in reverse was terrific. The 90 horsepower Mercury Outboard comes in two versions. You have the standard gearbox and the command thrust gearbox. Now the standard gearbox with its ratio of 2.07 to 1 is, is fine for pushing sort of aluminium boats and so on, um, fine for, you know, fishing boats up to about, say, about the 5.2 metre mark. However, if you're going to push heavier boats, again, like pontoon boats, or you're going to have a boat where you're taking out the family all the time and you're doing towing a skier or a ski biscuit around and so on, you've got the command thrust, which is 2.38 to 1. And what it does is it, um, it allows the engine um, torque to be converted to thrust more effectively. So, so you can actually get the power down into the water to push that bigger boat and pull, pull around those heavier loads. It, the 115 is, um, well, not only, not only is it significantly lighter than the direct competition, but the, but the, thing, about, the thing about it is that um, you, it, it's developing torque slightly higher up the range from, than, the, than the 90. Um, however, the thing is, with, with that particular engine, having the ability of the command thrust gearbox actually makes a big difference. Now, on the two boats that we tested back to back, between the, between the, um, between the standard gearbox and the command thrust gearbox, um, the, um, the command thrust was definitely the way to go. If you're, if you're going to be running a, if you're going to be towing around kids and, and carrying a family around and things like that. And the reason is, is that it, it actually uh, it gets the, the engine torque down into thrust more effectively. Whereas you can get away with, say, the stand, in, where you can get away with a standard gearbox in the 90, in my opinion, for all round usage, whether it be on the cat that we tried and whether it be on, on the two Quintrexes that we tried, um, it, it's definitely, in my opinion, the way to go. Um, we found that the, um, when, when John and I were out doing the testing, we found that the, um, um, the, the command thrust um, equipped engine um, cleaned at lower speeds had better mid-range fuel economy because again the engine torque was being translated, being converted to thrust more effectively and was slightly more efficient at wide open throttle with a slightly higher speed. But the main thing about it was it was able to plane at lower revs because you had a, a fatter, you had a, a, a coarser pitch fatter bladed prop which was able to keep the boat on the plane at lower revs and to do it back to back. But don't get me wrong, I, I think the the standard gearbox would be fine if you're going to run a light, lightweight fast boat or something like that and you wanted that top end to, to punch away. But you know, for normal usage on, on, on the um, on the um, um, on, on the on the Quintrex, the I found the command thrust box made a big difference. Very rare that we actually get the chance to use two different exact same boats fitted up with two different configurations. So it was great for Mercury to put them both on display for us on the Gold Coast. The difference was amazing. The performance levels on paper don't describe the difference in the drive. The smaller gear case worked perfectly and more than satisfying for any prospective buyer. But the difference that we experienced when we took the command thrust option for a drive was really quite surprising. It had enormous thrust. It had enormous bite. There was not a hint of cavitation. And the power to rate direct to the water, which means overall performance and economy to you, was outstanding. Same boats, same day, same time, same engines. But you know what? The command thrust just gave that hull a little bit extra. Either way, you'd be happy. But after today, my choice would be the Command Thrust. What a ripper job from Mercury right through their new engine range. Read all about it in upcoming issues of Trader Boat magazine.